Well, some are calling it funny, but even more are calling it offensive. Chip Saltzman, a current candidate to take over the Republican National Committee, is facing a firestorm of criticism for sending out a Christmas CD with some parody songs, one of them called Barack the Magic Negro. Our Jim Acosta is tracking things live from Washington for us this morning. There are a lot of uh, Republicans, even those who received this, who didn't find the humor in it at all, Jim. No, not much humor there, Kieran. Uh, the release of this CD sounds like a rookie mistake, but Chip Saltzman is far from a newcomer on the national political stage. We have already got a big crowd here for Governor Huckabee. Chip Saltzman made a name for himself as national campaign manager of Mike Huckabee's upstart bid for the White House. I'm officially announcing my candidate candidacy for Republican National Committee chairman. Now, a candidate for chairman of the Republican National Committee, Saltzman is doing damage control after mailing RNC members a controversial CD loaded with racially tinged songs, one of the tunes aimed at the next president. Rock the Magic Negro. A crude parody of the children's classic Puff the Magic Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon. The song first touched off a brief firestorm when it aired on Rush Limbaugh during the campaign. Limbaugh blamed the media for stoking the controversy. Every one of you out there that think you've got something here on Barack the Magic Negro, I'm going to try to help you and save you. Saltzman defends the CD, telling CNN, I think most people recognize political satire when they see it. I think RNC members understand that. But current RNC chairman Mike Duncan says he's appalled in a statement to CNN. The 2008 election was a wake-up call for Republicans to reach out and bring more people into our party. There's a crowd of conservatives that takes a special pride in being anti-PC. What I don't think they fully appreciate is it comes across somewhere between being indifferent to hostile. And that's how they've gotten in the larger problem they now face, preaching to an ever smaller choir and looking for votes only in a group that is increasingly old, white, and rural. A concern echoed by Colin Powell, who recently singled out Limbaugh as part of the party's problem. Is this really the kind of party that we want to uh, be? Liberal media critics say the issue is bigger than Limbaugh. It's unfortunate, um, but it's not surprising. This, this type of rhetoric, this type of hate speech, uh, and fear-mongering happens every day on conservative talk radio. One Republican who's coming to Chip Saltzman's defense is Ken Blackwell, the former Ohio Secretary of State and an African-American who's also running for the top job at the RNC. Blackwell blamed the media, telling CNN, quote, unfortunately there is hypersensitivity, he says, in the press regarding matters of race. Kieran. Now, I, as I understand it, the songwriter for Puff the Magic Dragon has even gotten involved in this whole thing. What is he saying? That's right. We reached out to him, and uh, he says even Puff uh, would be appalled at this. Uh, he says there is no excusing this type of uh, use of his lyrics and his song. Uh, but more importantly, people like Newt Gingrich are coming out and saying that Chips, Chip Saltzman is finished uh, as a candidate for RNC chairman. And at a time when the RNC is considering two African-American candidates for its chairmanship and talking about Bobby Jindal running for president in 2012. You have to wonder how these types of antics fit in to the GOP's future, Karen. Jim Acosta for us this morning. Thanks.